and he shows the show and the music is coordinated with, with, with the footage. And so Tony will be doing that there that night. So it's like a, what they call a VJ presentation video and music. And then we have Ruben that'll be doing the oldie thing. So we, we, we have a pretty good, uh, you know, as far as music is concerned, we'll be hitting 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Of course, headlining will be Mestizo. They have four D CDs out. They do a, they do a, what they call Latin boogaloo, salsa, cumbia, and uh, and rock. So they're they're going to be performing great band, ten piece band, along with the Mad Latins. That's Lou Pada's group. You got and, Tony Banda. Huh? Yeah, Tony Banda, special guest, and and Tony and and also my son uh, George Dez. By the way, give him a plug. He uh, just recorded with uh, Poncho Sanchez on uh, Poncho's uh, latest CD called Live in Hollywood. Cool. My son's on the fourth cut. And the and the his cut and the CD is getting great reviews. The CD is uh, is up for two Grammys already. Wow! So that's Poncho's live in Hollywood, and then my son also has his own CD called Cross Tom Blues, uh, and that's getting airplay in the East Coast, and uh, he's doing very well over there. Uh, his uh, his. Is, You're going to yeah. get us some copies of Canary for yeah, money, we're gonna, right? Yeah, we're going to try to bring George Dez here to perform his his cuts from his his own CD, Crosstown Blues. And we're trying to get him to, to do some stuff here and get the Latin divas to come in here and do some stuff for you. And we're, we're you know, and we're open to do anything for the city of Almani. You know, I've done some work for uh, different organizations. I've done uh, stuff in uh, Pico Rivera. We just did a big... Uh, concert at the arena with Barbara Mason, Brent Wood, Tierra, Sangria. They all performed at the Pico River Sports Arena. Oh, yeah, we were there that night. I did uh, I did stuff for West Hollywood when they have their annual event over there, stuff for the city of Baldwin Park, city of Montebello. We're going all over around so, us. Yeah. What's happening with Almani? We're like yeah, uh, yeah, the Beverly Hills of San Gabriel let's, Valley. <laughs> let's do it. How come we're not here? Let, let's do it. Let's bring back the old... Uh, you know the old f stadium flare, field. Yeah, know, let's do it. Yeah, that's, no, that's what I, I, keep I like to do a big oldie show. You know, we you had know? we had uh, Bob the Senna last week. Oh yeah, and, and he had Augie Roman, of course, a good friend of mine. He'll be with Miss Diesel. That's Augie. what I was looking at. That. Yeah. So Augie you know, I'm thinking. Augie. You know what? Yeah. We're trying to do the concerts in the park this year. We're trying to oh, influence the it. the people because we want to bring that kind of flavor back from the old uh, American Legion Stadium. And I'd like to work on it to see if maybe we can get a guest shot. I can't promise nothing, folks. Because we had some real good interviews with Art LeBeau, but we'd like to get him come down. At that would be really something. Out. You have some pretty nice venues here. I know they used to do the, uh, they used to have a big venue, and I think they still have it. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it's right here, close by. Uh, it, it's a big uh, venue. They had one in Hollywood, and then I know they had the owner had one here in Elmont. What, Florentine Gardens? Florentine Gardens, exactly, yeah. Is that still here? Is that well, still what is there? it called now? It's Florentine Gardens. Something else. Yeah, something. I, I don't know. I don't. You know, like I said, we're trying. We're trying to. You know, if find a, a if good there, spot. If there's any community organization, a youth group, or any dance group, who who knows? We might find the the new Latina Beyonce in this uh, East LA Divas. You know, give them. Give well, them. You well, know, we did. Or, we did. We got Valerie. Yeah, we already. You already <laughs> have one. <huh>? Go <laughs> no, Valerie. So you know. Uh, well, you know, they should contact you right at four two four seven five seven eight six. For nine, not only for the to get involved in this nice fundraiser. Here's what a ticket looks like. So he was nice enough to give us some tickets. He even has a very colorful. Did you get a close up on that? We so, got tickets still on sale. The pre sale tickets are only ten dollars, and uh, it's cheap at half the price. Uh, and okay, you can see a shot. Almost. We still we still got room for people to come on down and see how back. how we do our shows. The back. There it is. Uh, we'll be cool. doing a 50-50 raffle. We'll be raffling off a a, a, cool. a nice beautiful guitar, electric guitar. So we'll be doing a lot of stuff there for 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 that East LA Divas group, you know, and uh, you know. So if anybody, well, you know, it's like I said, it's for a worthwhile cause, and we'll go only if you can bring the divas down here to perform for our people course, here, course. Almani. Because we love to see it. And like yeah. By the way, they'll be doing a uh, a beauty pageant too at the uh, Quiet Cannon. They'll be doing, and, and I want to let you know about this. They'll be doing the Miss East LA. They'll be coordinating the Miss LA beauty pageant for East Los Angeles, and that's the people that Priscilla and the people that are involved with the East LA Divas. So they're real community. Well, we're only gonna go if if there's a fantastic flan there. Oh yeah. Because you know I, I will eat no other flan, and that's not a commercial. 
but it is. Yeah, well, t- any 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 anybody that wants to participate in any way with food with uh, vendors, we do. I do a lot of uh, outside events, uh, festivals. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're gonna we're gonna you take advantage. Hey, don't think you know, don't think we're not gonna take advantage of your good yeah. services. To get well, stuff cooking down here in Almonte, you got you got the facilities here. Oh, we got beautiful restaurants you know, we too. We got restaurants. You got, uh, like I said, you have the Florentine Garden venue here. Uh, you, you you have. Uh, you know, we got a new gateway project, by the way. Yeah, that just so, got approved for fifth to the tune of fifteen million. We're going to renovate all this area yeah, right we, here by the. We could do a whole. MTA station. Uh, we could do a, an outdoor thing. We could close up some streets and do a car show. We could do. Stuff for the community, health events, uh, go, job, job fairs. We can coordinate all that for the community. Just well, look, just let us know. Let us know. Almani has resources just like any other community, and yeah. it, it, we got to utilize them. And you know uh, what the greatest resource here? Come on, ten seconds. Go ahead. Is what? The greatest resource here. The people, man. People. Come on, the gente. dude. Yeah, gente, course, they got yeah. some real good people yeah, out here. Yeah, Tell yeah. them, Valerie. The people. Thank you. The people. Yeah. That was unrehearsed. All right, Georgie, we're going to be down there. That's going to be uh, February 9th, 2013. Doors open at 6 o'clock, and you want to call this man to get the uh, further information, 424-757-8649, and that is this weekend. Thanks a lot, brother. Okay, thank you, uh, Arturo. All right, man, it's a round of applause for this young man. Thank you. Sit down, man. They give me a little cheat sheet. Okay, we're going to do Land of a Thousand Dances once again with uh, Bobby Espinosa, the late great, and Jimmy Espinosa, this was shot at Peppers. You remember Peppers? Oh yeah, I did. I did stuff at Peppers. And, and by the way, you know, it, the footage. This footage brings some memories back. I, I did a lot of work with uh, one of my first concerts that I did when I was attending Long Beach University was El Chicano back in 1972 when they had the number one hit wow. in, the, in the nation, Viva Tirado. And my first group that I did was El Chicano with Ursi. And the whole gang there with El Chicano, that was fabulous. And then I went on to do some work in the early, just to show you how far I go back. How far would you, you go back? The early that? 80s with Brenton Wood. There you go. I, so I did Brenton Wood, and then I did the Midnighters. So I, I was very fortunate, you know, I'm very fortunate to do some big shows with Joe Batan, The Intruders. Oh, yeah. Keith, we, had, we had The Intruders on our show one, one of the one of the great performers, performers uh, Tina Marie. Oh, wow. So, you know, we did, you know, I've done some pretty uh great shows with some east coast artists so you know we could do whatever we want uh <coughs> here in the community of almani or any any so well, it's gotta be it's gotta be this community bro i'm we'll sorry we are the city channel for beautiful almani california and we're gonna take advantage because nobody appreciates you like we do so let's I take it away right. with uh bobby and jimmy on almani tonight
got to be quicker on the draw, man. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Bobby and Jimmy. I'm trying to find the last episode where I have Jimmy performing with uh, Rudy Salas of Tierra. And that's like a rare episode as well. It's at the same place. We just did two different takes. So uh, our next guest here is this young man. This is William C. Albert, executive producer of Ice Fortress and Shine Bright. Is that correct? That's correct. Is that a round of applause for this young man, please? Yeah, it's good to have you on here, William. Okay, I got to ask you, man. I know probably people ask you all the time, man. But this is the question, man. What's the C stand for? Charles. Oh, okay. See, you guys are in suspense, huh? You didn't know, huh? Okay, uh, Ice Fortress and Shine Bright. Next question. Ice Fortress Productions is a, is a company that I formed with Heidi Dene and uh, Gino Calabro. And what we do is we're a creator of original content. We create dynamic series, television series, mm -hmm. like uh, our flagship show is called The Code. Um, and it's about, uh, you know, the basically the codes that we all live by and the life responsibilities that we have. Mm -hmm. Which, interesting enough, led us to, uh, into what we do with Shine Bright. And, and what that is, is it's another production company, but mm -hmm. it is file, filing its 5013C paperwork. And we, we did that because we started doing events with schools and we started right. going out and talking to the kids about the codes that we live by, the responsibilities that we have, and most importantly, that everyone, every single solitary youth is uniquely beautiful and they're uniquely important to a better tomorrow. And so that's what we've really gone out there and, and championed. We work with a lot of different groups, mm -hmm. creating events, working with uh, politicians like uh, William um, Rodriguez Morrison, doing events with him and, and pulling in different parts of the community. We've got an event going on at the uh, end of the month or the beginning of uh, March as well. And these events, basically what they do is they allow us as producers to be able to create um, content with children. Mm -hmm. What we want to mm -hmm. be able to do is go out and create mentoring programs with them. We want to create our own network where they're able to come in and actually film television programs. Right. And have some opportunities to just see how they can really go out there and create something and, and be something incredible. That sounds good. You can applaud for this young man. Don't be shy. You got to make sure you're still awake out there. That's what happens when we don't have a live band. You know, you know, we had a school. You know, see, I try to bring everybody to Almani. I'm sorry. You know, but that's what it, where it's, you know, where it goes. It's not like I get paid for the, saying that. But, you know, we had a school that just had their uh, whole cafeteria building burned down just recently here. Oh, wow. And now they're going to in the process of trying to rebuild it. And it's really tragic because it's a school right not far from here, Mountain View High School. And I know I used to work there, so I know the kids, you know, like when it rains or whatever, that was the place to go, go in the cafeteria, right? So now it's, you know, it's going to be a very uh, uphill battle. We're wondering, can we ever get your companies come down here and maybe do something for this community? Oh, absolutely. We'd love to. I mean, we've done, uh, we, we are based in Hollywood, but we've gone all the way out to Fontana and done other programs. Right. But we'd love to. I mean, um, basically how we, we did is we got them to bring all the kids to one school. Mm -hmm. and, and then we had like a nice um, program. We had Emilio Rivera was there. Um, the Code cast was there. And, and uh, we had Congressman Baca. And so we'd love to put together something like that for you guys, too. Well, yeah, it'd be great. You know, they we really need it out here. And I tried, like I said, I try to bring people uh, to come and help out the community to inspire and, you know, this is what Almani is all about because we have really good people and a lot of good, wonderful kids. I mean, some of the best, I think, in the nation. And, uh, you know, so they could benefit from the exposure to something like this. You know, like I said, a lot of fantastic schools. So you said there's, a, there's an event coming out at the end of the month. What is that? At, on, on March 1st, we're going to be putting on an event, um, most likely at the El Pablo um, Banquet Hall mm -hmm. in East LA. Mm -hmm. We'll be putting that on and it'll be basically a, a small gala event where we'll have some live music, some tastings, and we'll have some a lot of different small businesses come out because them are really the partners that we work with really, mm -hmm. really well. Um, I do that some work with the United States Latino American Chamber of Commerce. Right. And together what we do is we bring out small businesses and in the end we benefit youth so I mean okay. it, it kind of works together them are the two key building blocks that I think that we really need to find to get this economy moving again to get things moving again is one be able to have the small businesses start to come back up and also be able to start looking back at our children who are getting really left behind a lot of programs have been cut sure. after, and cut after cut after cut and, and you find just, you know, entire communities going bankrupt. So, I mean, what we do is we try to come in, 
completely no tax burden to, to the city itself. We use community sponsors that come in, they bring us out to the events, they, they work hand in hand with the kids. And what we want to be able to do is, is be able to thank them eventually by with that same production studio at Shinebright, be mm -hmm. able to have children create commercials with these community partners. What that would allow is these kids to basically have hours that would qualify them for the production unions. It would also allow them to have work already in their portfolio when they graduate. And it would allow them to be able to see that they can do something incredible and that their, their city doesn't stop at, or at their borders. I mean, their lives don't stop there. I mean, they continue on and on. So, I mean, it's something for every community that we can work in. So, well, definitely, like I said, it'd be great to have you out here. And, you know, you should be le a little less shy, okay? I, I don't have to bring this out of you. All I right. tell you, man, he's good, huh? He's yeah, very well rehearsed, huh? Well, let me tell you. Oh. Yeah, give a round of applause. He's very good. Well, it's, not, it's not hard when it comes from the heart, so... Well, I don't know. Is there going to be, I know you said there are going to be tastings. Are there going to be flan tastings there? I'm hoping so. I, I did talk with Chef Tiki uh, before this uh, thing, and I did tell her that I wanted to talk to her a little bit more about that. Is so. that true, Chef Tiki? I'm sorry. Is that true? Can you repeat that? Do we want to know if there were going to be flan tastings there at his event? Possibly. Yes. Uh-oh, you're on the see? possible list, see? I'm on the possible list. You were, you're on the definite list, but I don't know now. You're on the possible list. <laughs> no, but it sounds fantastic. So how do people get a hold of you? Uh, you can look me up um, on Facebook at William C. Albert, or you can also contact me direct at wbcalbert at gmail.com or 213-290-2094. Okay, that's why we need to be able to know what's going on in case people want to participate or pay, get involved in what's going on. Absolutely. And you definitely, definitely got to set up a plan. Like I said, we get something going here in Almani because there's a lot that can be going on here. And let me tell you, this city is building. Like I said, I mentioned mm -hmm. they just had the gateway uh, project approved that's going to totally re remake this area and you know there's a lot of talk about doing stuff in the uh, valley mall there's, oh there's all kinds of things that's coming this whole city is going to be a whole different look in a, f a few short years so we need a lot of people to get involved and get to uh, you know get the ball rolling and contribute to what's going on here and like you said we end up helping each other on this level absolutely sounds good man well i want to thank you for coming on board you know uh you know, is there anything else that you want to say? Any shout outs you want to give out to anybody out there? No. You know, we, go, we go YouTube now. No, I just want to say, you know, thank you so much for having me on the show. No I problem. think it was incredible that uh, we can get out here and do stuff, and we definitely want to be able to come out here again. Well, I know, it's, I know it seems small compared to your major studios, but we got a lot of heart here. Love, no. Valerie. No. Like I said, it starts with community. So, I mean, That's we it, actually man. want well, to. Well, we are here. community channel based anyway. So, this is a round of applause for this young man. He's doing good works. Okay, we're going to go to another clip. I believe it's another Brenton Wood. Is that the case? Yeah. Okay, let's take it away here. El Monte tonight.
Okay. Wow. Look at that feedback. I love that. Yeah, that was great. That was uh, our good buddy, Brenton Wood. Like I said, we shot that, oh God, over a decade ago, but it still sounds good. And the man is still a fantastic person. We're going to have him be coming to our show probably in a couple of months as the schedule permits, uh, just to christen our studio here because Brenton Wood, uh, oh man, we've done so many wonderful activities together and uh, he's a salt of the earth kind of individual. And I hope he enjoys seeing this tonight. He's probably going to faint, but there it is, the lost footage. Next to me is uh, a young lady who's no stranger. This is uh, Chef Kiki, the flan queen. Is that the flan? Hi, Chef Kiki. There's a round of applause for Kiki. Hello. That's what I love about. She's the only person that applauds for herself. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's so good. It's so good to have you, Mia. Thank you. So, what's coming up next? Are you got any activities coming up we should know about? Actually, I do. I will be at the Quiet Cannon on February 26th for a bridal expo, uh -huh. displaying my Flantini bar uh, with Jacqueline Flowers, who does Caribbean events. Uh -huh. And her theme is, if you can't go to Caribbean, she'll bring the Caribbean to you. So that's oh. going to be a lot of fun. Isn't she coming on the show? We're going to have her yes, come on the show. next week. Okay. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. See? You got a chance to hear about it. Oh, they're moving cameras on me. Yeah. This is good. Look at, look at Chef Kiki nervous. She keeps rocking. <laughs> I'm getting seasick watching her. You know, I'm like, I'm going, oh. <laughs> That's so cute. No, that's so good. We had uh, we had an event which you'll see some clippage of that coming up soon, of um, at a the spin lounge where they had like sort of a tasting and she was like the closer with her uh, desserts of fantastic desserts. What was the one that you had? You served it was delicious. What was it, it was a customized abuelita flan on the chocolate cake. And she uses real abuelitas. Yes, she Seriously. do. She's authentic. <laughs> I like that. No, that was delicious. Everybody it went with their beer that had yeah. chocolate and uh, and caramel. So it went really good together. See, but we don't condone the drinking of alcohol on this channel. I just like to let you know. But we went there for the food because the food was great. In fact, we're going to be running up a clip next week of the interview we did with her and this young chef that was out there that prepared all the meals. And it was just absolutely delicious. And we even had a, a chef in the back that was from Almani, California. See, everything is up in Almani. It's like Rome. All lo roads lead to Almani. How do we do that? Good segue, huh? So, <laughs> Chef Kiki, what's the latest? What's coming up for Valentine's Day? What's your secret next surprising uh, flan? Well, I created for February um, for El Tepeyac in the City of Industry a chocolate kiss flan on a chocolate cake, and we're calling it the double, the double chocolate kiss, and that'll start next week for the rest of the month. Are you going to bring some in so people can try it? Sure. I'll bring some next Wednesday with uh, our interview with Jacqueline. Because, you yes. know, Valerie says she's going to help you for a lifetime supply of flan. Absolutely. It's she, a deal. Yeah. There you go. We'll work for flan. <laughs> we'll work for flan. Hey, this is the sign <laughs> on the freeway. We'll work for flan. <laughs> That'll be perfect. Awesome. Well, we, we surprised Kiki. She wasn't prepared to come up. No. <laughs> but, you know, she's going to be doing, uh, you know, one of the many hosts that we're going to have on the show uh, that's going to be a... a Almighty version of The View, and it's going to be uh, dealing with uh, women issues. And it'll be coming up uh, in about, uh, I'm hoping to kick it off by the beginning of March. Do we have a title for that yet? Well, I thought we had Las Comadres. Okay. But we'll see how that works, you know, because we're gonna, it's, uh, it's a diverse group. You know, we're trying to make it cross-cultural, so it applies to uh, many cultures. We have that. We also have uh, our good friend, uh, Wendy Zing, who's going to be doing our health show. We got a new veteran show coming up and another job developing show. So we got a lot of good shows coming here on Amani, Amani TV Channel Three. Okay, well they give me the high sign, Chef, because everybody got hungry when it. they said when they said flan. Everybody's getting all hungry. So okay, <laughs> but thank you for coming up, Mija. Thank you for having me again. A round of applause. <laughs> we had to bring her up. 
So my people, once again, do not drink and drive. We love you all. And we want to see you next week. Check us out on YouTube, the Almani Tonight Show, when it's time for Almani Tonight. I want to thank all the crew, Valerie, Diego, and Jamie, and all of you. So take care. Till we see you again. This is Arturo Esparza signing out. Bye-bye.